have the poise and, the, if you will, the toughness to continue to bat, battle on the inside, because that's what Zubats does. Fourth year out of Croatia. Paul George has it for the first time. Had 27 last night. Dumps it inside to Zubats, who missed it. That he's playing, Chris. He literally dislocated it and relocated it in his right position on his own. It'll affect him, but he's not afraid to play under tough circumstances. And Hullis. Harkless in his eighth year out of St. John's. Played the last four years in Portland. Now George drives and gets to the rim and scores. He's better than he was when he left. Harkless starts on Brogdon. That's what we've seen a lot of when as Turner shoots a three. It's short. They, they, they start with size on it. Yeah. Because you have to, otherwise he overpowers the guards. A deep three by Georgia's offense. Sabonis grabs the rebound. Down to five. Lamb off the screen. Mid-range Sabonis. They're going to let him take that shot. Because you can see Zubats is nowhere, Zubats nowhere up there to guard it. Pacers have started one of six. As George dribbles into a turnover. T.J. Warren back the other way. He throws it away. And now Hart team has been impressed with Chris. The way Warren on the ball has really become a much better defensive player. And now George in the corner misses again. He's missed three. For Clippers are two of seven as Patterson making his 12th start of the year. This is their 10th different starting lineup. Boy, he is feeling it. But the spasms, but with no Kawhi Leonard, he makes his 12th start of the year. First time he has started with Paul George, and that's where Paul is so good as he makes the steal on the Pacers' third turnover. Zubats. George comes off that Zubats screen, now guarded by T.J. Warren. Goes inside, runs into Turner, throws it away. Tipped by Turner, Sabonis has it. A fourth Clippers turnover. Sabonis takes it coast to coast and scores. A little momentum went right at. Now George again. You can hear the Boo Birds here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Pulls up, and his three this time goes in. He's doing a nice job taking it to the rim. He has nine of Indiana's first 13 points. Warren nearly had the steal, and then George puts up a shot. They're going to say a foul on Warren for the Clippers as Harold goes to work again. George guarded by McDermott. Takes him baseline with a shot and a foul. He's not being in any position to rebound. George wanted to shoot it, passes it out to Williams. He's trying to draw the foul. There was no foul to be had. Then, then he comes and gets it because what they were doing was chasing the Pacers off the three-point line. George drives inside, out to Walt Jr. for three. That's why he's gotten missed. The Pacers scored 104, and they held on. And then 104, uh, 98 when he scored on Saturday. George, mid-range, too strong. Warren, who the Clippers was, was really active and ran a lot uh, last night. But they, the Pacers have taken a lot of that away. George, inside their ninth play. Yeah, without a doubt. And they were trying to figure it out. McDermott, long-range three. And George, the rebound. Drives it against Brogdon and gets the foul. Brogdon has it knocked away on the floor as Walton Jr. A three by George, too strong, and it goes better than 40% as a team. Four-point lead, Clippers, they've got it. Beverly guarded by Brogdon. George, a deep three. It's off the rim. He throws it away. It's a two-on-one. George is back. Warren takes it inside and yeah, left it short. Oh, he got bumped in his own stride. Pacers come up empty there. That's now George, and that's an offensive foul. Jeremy Lamb's points here in this quarter. He has eight. He and McDermott have combined for 19. And that was Lamb getting up in the air. Ten times they've scored 120 or more. Williams escapes. Carroll in the lane. Three-point shot is good. It's by George. Up, no good. It was a tough layup. And now George looks for three more. And yeah, that's why Nick McMillan was ten seconds. Six seconds. Split it. Left it on the rim. Oh, Subban somehow point shots. They really for, for, for the Clippers. They really don't need him on the, 
want him on the floor. Again, no Kawhi Leonard tonight. On the baseline, George missed it, and another rebound, Sabonis. Losing 119-91. Warren, inside. Good play. He did a great job. To Beverly. George at the rim. The other thing you start to see with to Patterson. Pacers were out rebounded by 18 in Detroit, by 10 in New York, and that's blocked out of there by Turner. And they got stopped. Clean it up. Very solid job defensively by both. George for three. Last night, if you can get in transition, can you make them run? Solid difference there by Miles Turner. Short, Simone, Indiana, as you look at Justin Holiday ready to check in. It includes tickets to five great games, including the Sixers, Bucks, Warriors, Rockets, and Nets. Plan started just $23. 74.59. George stops, shoots, misses. And of 11 against really good competition. We'll see what this team is made of. Well, most assuredly, see what it's made of. Because when you take a look at what's transpired, up to this point, you've been able to beat. T.J. McConnell is in. Shot clock down to four. Warren cut off, and an offensive foul. George takes the charge. To get his hands on that. Shot clock halfway through, down to ten now. George, a long three, got it. What you see with Paul is different. They, I don't know if they, they can't be one and two in the sense that it, it might be if you look at east-west. I, I mean but, west. But they're up oh, Shot. Yeah, oh yeah, another night. And that's the team that has Paul George. I mean, sorry, he's got LeBron James on. Rebounded by George on the miss by Turner. And the lead is 16. Pacers get it back. Aaron pass picked off by McConnell. And the Pacers come up empty. Took the, the, all of those were really hard shots, Chris. George again. And a pass. Ten. He, 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 listen, that is exactly right, Chris. He is a pro. Ah, too fast, and, and it's a bonus missing. And, and Paul, just his decision making is a little better. He's still turnover prone. He wants it. Well, they're giving him the freedom. They, that, Doc Rivers is really trying to let him, since he's back playing here in, in, in Indianapolis, let him play his way through whatever he's going through. Pacers just. Having a bad night for three-point range, six of 23. It goes down low to Harrell. He puts it in. Being guarded. Walt. And look who tracked it down, Harrell. What he'll do? He can't make a shot coming off the bench like that. Not a three-point shot. Seven of 15 from behind the arc for George. Wide open, Edmund Sumner. Goes into contact, and Harrell blocked the shot. He had no 535 to play, 188. Shot clock down to nine. George escapes and draws the foul on Warren. In it. They double George. He's in trouble. He just traveled too. Beverly. Yeah, he traveled Beverly. And now there's crowd on its feet on a Monday night at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. And a blocking foul. It's his fourth 30-point game of the year. McDermott, 4-3. Yeah, that would be, that, that's a timeout at that point. Would have made it an eight-point game. They double again. Harold fires to the corner. Lou Williams gets underneath the basket, and Williams missed it, tipped out. And it belongs to 18 and 22. 22 rebounds at career high. Step back for Paul George. It's off. Warren the rebound, 2.07 to 